We have seen plenty of weird aircrafts in our lifetimes. One of those airplanes is this, the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II, or the nickname Warthog, or just Hog. Even though a lot of people don't know this aircraft, but it's one of the most important airplanes in US history. In the 1970s, during the peak of the Cold War, the Americans were afraid of West Germany and they felt like the Russians will attack from East Germany. The most important strategic position in this area was around Frankfurt in a place called the Fulda Gap. If a war broke loose, it was very strategic to have this location in your hands. And that is why the Americans wanted to get ready before anything happened and they wanted to have their tools and equipment in order. They knew if the Russians decided to attack from East Germany towards West Germany, they're gonna do it with the help of tanks. That is why they wanted an aircraft that was anti-tank. In a very short period of time, they built the A-10 Warthog, an aircraft that flies extremely low and surprise attacks different types of vehicles, especially tanks. You might say, what type of aircraft is this? Is this a fighter? Is it a bomber? It is none of that. This is under the close air support class. When we say close air support, we really mean it because this thing flies extremely close to the battlefield. And that is why it takes a lot of damage when it enters. Usually, they can't really hit an aircraft like this with rockets and tanks because they don't have enough time to line up a shot, but they will get blasted with soldiers and different weapon systems. So like we're saying, this aircraft has nothing to do with any other aircraft you're familiar to. It's a closed air support. So when they decide to send this thing to the battlefield, it has to be like a Toyota Camry. You just start it up and go to the battlefield. It doesn't need a lot of testing and getting ready before it enters. You could compare the A-10 to like a Jeep Willis in World War II. Anytime it enters a battlefield, it will get blasted with bullets. But the most important part is that it will return even with all this damage taken. But if anything like this were to happen to any other aircraft in the military, they would not return. They will be destroyed on the spot. And that means the A-10 has to be a very simple, yet a high performance aircraft. Do you know how this aircraft was built? Long story short, when the Americans ordered it from Fairchild Republic, they took different parts from their shelves and put this thing together and it's unlike any other aircraft like the F-22 or SR-71 where billions of dollars had to go into research. The Pentagon didn't really mind how the airplane was going to be built. The most important part about the craft was that it had to have a ginormous gun. And the gun is this, the General Electric GAU-8 Avenger. This is no normal machine gun. It has a length of 6 meters and the barrel is so long that it passes underneath the pilot's foot. I mean just look at it next to a Volkswagen Beetle. The big barrel you see at the end of the gun is actually the magazine of the gun and it could hold 1150 rounds and those are no normal rounds, 30 millimeter rounds. What you're hearing is 3,900 rounds per minute being fired. But obviously, they can't just shoot it for a minute straight because the barrel would be fried. And that is why you only hear it in short bursts and they don't want it to overheat. So now we realize that this machine gun is the most important part of this aircraft and it's so heavy and ginormous that it needs two hydraulic pumps to work it. But why did they add two of them? Because if one of them decides to stop working, the other one comes online and helps out. And just like we said, the gun is the most important part of the aircraft and without it, 
this thing is useless. The hydraulic system also moves the wing's flaps up and down as well. But the most amount of power that's needed from the hydraulic pump is to move this giant gun. The A10 is so simply made that if both of the hydraulic pumps decided to stop working, only the gun would stop working because the pilot is still able to maneuver the aircraft without the flaps working and have a safe landing. Another awesome engineering fact about the A-10 is the landing gear because it's designed in a way where it doesn't actually hide and it's always exposed even when it's retracted. They purposefully designed it like this so if anything were to happen, the aircraft can still land. And that is why this aircraft is known as simple but high performance. Of course, the safest part about this aircraft is the cabin. In simple terms, it's a box of titanium and nothing will pass through it. Some may ask, why did they make it out of steel to make it cheaper? That would make the aircraft too heavy. There are 16 flares attached to the A-10. That's a safety feature. And that means if any missile or anything that wants to follow it, the flares could help the A-10 escape. Why is the two jet engines located like this on the A-10? One of the reasons is that if a missile or a rocket were to follow this aircraft, it could lose it much easier because of the way the heat releases. The rear wings of this aircraft is a very similar design to a World War II aircraft. And the main reason is that when this massive gun is shooting and it creates a lot of recoil, the rear wings allows the aircraft to stay stable and not rise up the nose. Without these rear wings, this thing cannot shoot straight. And another reason the engines are located on top, it could land in dirt runways. This massive machine gun that's unbelievable has unbelievable bullets as well. The bullet itself is made from uranium. Not the shell, but the round itself. But why uranium? Uranium is an extremely dense metal. Like for example, tungsten has really high density, but when it hits something, it flattens out and stops puncturing. But a uranium round will cut through and continue cutting through. And just like we said, the A-10 is an anti-tank aircraft, so it needs to puncture tanks. Do these uranium shells pollute the area? Well, yes it does, because it's uranium. A lot of these rounds were used, especially in Afghanistan and the Iraq war. And a lot of people say these rounds are the reason a lot of people have cancer in these areas. So a lot of people are blaming the rounds they used in the A-10s. It has been years since the US government is trying to retire this aircraft because without these rounds, the A-10 is not that useful. But to this day, the US Air Force has not decided to retire this thing and it continues to use it to this day. Americans believe that the F-35 is like Muhammad Ali. It fires from afar and it doesn't allow you to hit it. But the A-10 will attack head first and return home nearly destroyed. The A-10 could be compared to a cheap motorcycle where it's reliable and easy to maintain. When the A-10 was ready in the year 1977, each airplane cost around $1.4 million. And it's good to know that around the same time, the F-14 was made, but each F-14 costs about $38 million. But the F-14 is a whole different story. It's the most successful fighter in the world, and we've made a video about it.